So we have a supervisor, 4482. Oh, my, oh, cool. Young. Cool. My nearest. Hey there, how are you doing? Good. My name's Mike. You too. I Thank you so him. much for coming. Um, I, I, I'm, I run a cop watching outfit, one of those activists that sure. filmed the cops out of Portland, Oregon. And I just had an interaction with one of your officers. And I don't want to file a complaint against him. I don't want to bitch. I just want to say that, you know, he was angry that we were filming and we were uh, parallel with this traffic stop at first. And, uh, you know, ordered us to walk so far away that we couldn't see. Yelled at us. And got I didn't really upset fully comply with his order because I felt it was, it, was, it was just violating my First Amendment. So I stood right here by this red pole and waited till he got done with his uh, okay and where was he parked at he was parked right here over there you know, about 40 feet the, away yeah, on yeah. The and like i said i don't want him to really be in trouble i would just like you to tell him that and then he called you know, a bunch of cops i mean he, a bunch of other police backup, backup. Got, like, we had like four yeah here, four whatever. five six officers there over our cameras yeah. and, and, and and he's, 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 uh, this is his supervisor right here um but okay. this is my area oh okay. yeah okay i got I thought that was Okay. Uh, he's on it. He's almost here. So this okay. is my area. Okay. But yeah, yeah. The supervisor for that officer is there. Okay. Hey, let me let me ask you guys. A question. Yeah. Sure. So let's say let's say my car is involved in a traffic stop and you wanted to film. Yeah. How uh -huh. close do you think is reasonable? Okay, I was told within arm's length is the new policy by uh, Officer DeVrice well, just a week ago. That's what he said. The new policy they're trickling down that they're trying to train all the officers on. That all you have to do is ask the officer when he's not busy if you can have be right outside of arm's length. That's what he told me. And he can't even sit like this, and he went like but that. Well, a question for you. Yeah, my, yeah. my experience, because I mean, if you go to YouTube and Google my here, you're going to find over a thousand videos. I videotape hundreds of traffic stops. Okay, what I try to do is stay very visible in all the areas so the officers can see me. But how close is it visible? I don't like to stand directly behind you guys, and I don't, this is way too fucking close. I would say reasonable. Okay. Okay. And he wanted us to move, you know, all the way on the other side Across of the street. the street. And from that angle, I just want to see. That. And he was aggressive about it. He immediately got offended by the but camera. That shows the officers that are... He but he didn't cuss him. Whatever, you know. Yeah, he didn't cuss like six feet cuss, but when an officer is scared of a camera, chances are they, um, they're they afraid of the things they might get caught doing. That's a the clear, clear, it's a, it's a bad conscience that makes you scared of a camera. We're always on camera. There's cameras everywhere, and there's cameras on all these vehicles. You guys are government employees. You're used to cameras. I've worked with the government at K. Bailey Hutchinson's office. They got cameras and monitors while they work. They see themselves picking their nose or anything. So the government's used to being held accountable. That officer is not. And I'm going to be around. I live in Austin. I'll be. I'm not from Portland. East Portland. I film all the time, and I don't expect to be treated like that. I immediately got offended that he made arbitrary okay. rules and was escalatory. So, what, yeah. What do you feel is safe? Like, like in your I opinion? think it depends on the investigation that's going on. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, if we're, if we're talking to a, a, a young girl that has been sexually assaulted, for instance, sure. I don't want you to go here. Okay. Yeah. Her privacy is really important to me and I'm going to protect it. But it's a public record, so there's no privacy in that stuff. Right. That's already been debated. Okay. This is his personal thoughts. Oh, right. I'm just, right. I'm just listening to his personal oh, thoughts. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt. Yeah. So, I'm going to protect her privacy. I don't, I don't want her filmed. I don't want her her statements to be filmed. Um, and, but if I'm on a traffic stop, a DWI stop, or something like that, then yeah, I think that you're, what you consider reasonable is very reasonable. Okay. Um, you know, but I don't, people, people will react differently, and I'm going to get to your point. There, people will react differently when there's somebody standing around filming, right. whether they're police or whether they're a victim, whether that. they're a suspect. I've noticed so, that it, it, it's, I, I've encountered situations where it could have been potentially violent, honestly, from the police's side or the person being stopped. Like, I've seen the camera calm down both parties in the situation. It's kind of escalated before I arrived. Yeah, you're being filmed. Shit, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> In it, and what, and all, and all my, all I'm saying is, it will change behavior. It will change behavior. Whether it's for the good or for the bad, it's going to change behavior. People are not going to want it. Um, they're not going to want to tell us uh, the the story that needs to be told, so that you know certain people can be held accountable. For it. 
Hi there. This hey, is Sergeant Lee. Hey man, my name's, my name's Mike Lear. Hey Mike, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Julian Reyes. So, I'm going to talk about the organization. Magnolia Cafe. Oh, cool. I was going to say, I thought I was. Yeah, he's, he's with Peace of Streets. I run a cop watching group out of Portland, Oregon, and I can do this on the regular. And if you check out my work, I, I have over a thousand videos online. Like, I've recorded the audio, hundreds and hundreds of police interactions. I just spoke with one of your officers, like, while I was Hall. filming. Yeah, Officer Hall. And I'm not trying to complain about him or get, get him in trouble. He was very, like, angry that we were, uh, we, we first started shooting video parallel with this traffic stop. So okay. he had, had us move. And I said, well, officer, could you tell me how far you want me to stand away, you know, because it's not my intention to interfere. Sure. And he said, way on the other end of the, across the street, way over here. Okay. Now, to me, I found that just unreasonable and it's infringing on my first amendment. So instead, I stood by this pole because I was told to stay so far back that I couldn't even see. You know, so that's just trampling all over my First Amendment. Um, I'm, I don't want to complain about him or get him in trouble, but will you please tell him that cop watchers are not, we're not intending on interfering, and I don't have any specific hatred for him. You know, I just want to observe. You know, if, if you could relate that to him, I very much appreciate it. Sure. You know, thank you. And, and like I said, don't admonish him. I mean, because. Like he yelled, but whatever. I called I, a lot I don't of backup. Know. I have no, yeah. He called like five or six other officers because I'm standing here with this. I mean, I'm not armed. Okay, I don't. I. I'm, but yeah. Um, he, he, yeah. We have to honestly have to have some kind of relationship that's positive between cop watchers and you guys. You know, and eventually, I want you, you guys and us to, at the very least, tolerate each other and not get in each other's way. You yeah, know. And I think for the Well, I was recording Antonio Beeler a couple weeks back and uh, on 6th Street, and as as Sergeant Deer and the guys were taking and, him down. Antonio's a whole other Right, right. I was, He's a whole I was, other I was animal him. Right, right, right. Than, I, I, than most normal I, I cop a, uh, Yeah, I, I, I run a similar <laughs> organization to his. But, um, well, hopefully a much better organization. Well, I, well, check out my work. I mean, there's lots of videos online on Mike Blue Hair that, uh, if you check out YouTube, that, that I'm being nice to cops, and there's, there's some of them that I'm being kind of a dickhead. You know, it just, just really depends on the situation. Sometimes I feel like my rights are being infringed, so I am me. I mean, Push I won't lie to you. Yeah. I won't lie to you. But, like, I do uh, positive stories as well. Like, I have officers entitled, Thank You, Officer Norman Staples. You know, uh, you know, like, I have a bunch of videos that are positive. So I, I shoot both sides of it, you know, and I try to. But, like, uh, eventually I want the culture of cop watching and the culture of cops to tolerate each other and stay the f out of each other's way. Right. That's what I want, you know. I because I don't want to interfere. If I, I could offer a suggestion, I would say him. what I would probably ask the officer is how close can how close can I get or what is comfortable for you as opposed because if you ask me where do you want me to stand, mm -hmm. I'll let your preference as opposed to oh, see yeah. what I'm saying. Okay, then I might very well tell you, yeah, I want you to stand over by the Capitol. <laughs> you, know? Right. you know what I'm saying? So okay. there's a difference. I might <laughs> tell you that you have to go after yourself because yeah. I'm in my first amendment right. right. Well, so no, that's but, a challenge. But I didn't, it's a pushback. Right, back but I didn't, and forth. I didn't. I didn't make you go stand over the camera. Right. You asked right. me what I prefer. Oh, I right. right. So my guys, preference you guys, may you be You guys get a lot of leeway with freedom right. of articulation right. and being able to. Whereas if you say, "Hey, I really want to film this. What's the closest that you feel comfortable with?" Right. And I go, "Oh, well, I feel comfortable with you standing right there by that pole." And you go, "Oh, well, that's exactly where I was going to stand." Great. You see, you still have So you may just want to. I would just well, ask, ask for specifically what you want, as opposed to. I want the right to film know, unobstructed. Hey. I'd like, like you to stand at your house. Right. I'd like you not so, to film me because it makes me yeah. feel... And no one likes to be filmed, but like, you know, oh. understand that. Well, we're used to it because we're filmed and everything. So you guys have body cams yet? Yeah. Oh, no. no. It's supposed to be body cams. They're going to do that in Oregon, but they have to change the Oregon Constitution to accommodate for it because there's certain privacy laws. I mean, the fact that millions of dollars that it takes to hold all that video and stuff. Look, I'm a libertarian. You know what bothers me about the body cameras? Here's the thing, the best ones, the best body cameras on the market, the most efficient, the best system for accountability wise is the international uh, And the reason why, them. yeah, right, right. And yeah. they store it they're on their own side. Right, now so check this out. What they're going to do is if, if, if municipalities buy the, the, the best systems, which are major internationals, okay, you're a permanent customer to their cloud service. So it's yeah. cost prohibitive. So all the video for your duty shift that's on, Right? That's the archive. It gets archived on their cloud server, and you have to by contract if you're in the city 
be a permanent customer to a monopoly. And what's to keep them from just they being the city, they being the taxpayer? Last like, year it was so. you know, X amount of dollars. Now it's <laughs> 10 times right. X amount of dollars. And, and there's no way to get out of it. You know? <laughs> Video storage is always going to be the most yeah. expensive part. Oh, yeah. Because they could outfit us all with cameras with very little cost. But yeah. then just what do you do with the Live stream it. Let the people have yeah. it. If, if you go open source, you can save a lot of money. Just let the people have it and just well, let it put it out the there. The problem with that, Julian, is that the, the live stream stuff is so low quality. Yeah. And also, it's dependent on cell towers to transmit the, uh, uh, the, the data. Yeah. Sometimes these guys will pull up on a situation where there's no where there's no reception or shitty reception and people on our side of the argument is going to go well they edited the video they That's destroyed right. it they destroyed it's the evidence and people on your yeah. side is going to say oh well it's just an error so we'll have the yeah. same argument so yeah. it's not going to work yeah i'm just never had any problem but you know just like you just like you're different than you know, you're different than cops are different i've never had any problem with people watching me so because i'm like i act the same whether you're there or not some cops have you ever been made to feel uncomfortable with like somebody up there yeah. yeah because like you said for us it's my main thing that I work for, like fatality crap and stuff like that. So when we've got a dead body laying on the ground, well then, okay, we're going to set up our perimeter and say, okay, this is the crime scene. Nobody's in there out of the crime scene, you know. And so to me, it's always very clear. You know, so, and media always shows up on my scenes. Of course. Always. Of course. So I'm used to them. If it leads, it leads. And yeah. that's what, that's yeah. what sells, you know, potato so the, chips and tampons. That's right. you know, so so all, the, <laughs> all the news media and I know each other and they're like, hey, where do you want me to stay? Again, I'll tell them. I'll tell them the same thing. Oh, where, do, where do I want you to stand, or where can you stand? And they start laughing. They're like, "Okay, where can I stand?" I'm like, "All right, you can stand right there." Oh, okay. And they set up and do their thing. Oh, I, I so. forgot to tell you the thing that happened to me while I was filming Bueller's arrest. He's going down, right? Like, like uh, Sergeant Deer and two other officers are taking him. And there's literally nine officers standing right there, right? Uh -huh. You know, like at this distance, yeah, yeah. right? I'm on the other side of him, Deer and his two other officers are pulling Antonio down. And Antonio tries to hand me a cell phone. He's like, like, and like, I'm out of arm's reach. Like in the video of me being arrested, you can see me going like this, right? And they throw me on the ground on my back, and I'm laying there on my back, leaning up, moving up at him, like, like, like to hit me. Oh, and there like, you go. comes by. Good, good angle. Yeah, it was a good angle, you know. Like, like uh, they confiscated my SD card. I'm looking forward to getting my lawyers uh, trying to get oh, it back. Okay. And, um, but anywho. Um, I just thought that was, you know, over the top because personally, my understanding of interfering is actually, you know, impeding your ability to do the arrest. There's three people taking him down, and there's nine officers there, and I wasn't even close enough to touch Beeler. I just reached my hand out like that because I thought maybe he could hand me the phone, and I couldn't reach it. And then uh, Seabeck, you know, Seabeck? Uh, Corporal. Yeah, Corporal Seabeck. So many people now. Just me. Oh, I know you guys have a really big department. Um, but anything that I, I just found that kind of really fucked up. So I got I have an interference charge. Now I have to do a jury trial. I only do jury jury trials because when I when I do this, I'm all about the activism edge to it. Like I mean, if a cop wants to charge me for being at the edge of the First Amendment, and that gets into the court system, I'm proud to do that. Who are they fighting? I view it yeah, as you know something that so needs to get into the court. Around. Yeah, and and like so, I'm happy about that. You know, I have a decent lawyer. But I don't think they really have evidence for interfering. But I don't know. Oops. I, I, I know, I'm just telling you that that was my so experience. So Sergeant on the um, Lee <laughs> so. and um, Lee and Sanders. So we were standing. See where these people are. Mm -hmm. There's been about 50 people that went by that stop. Children in in little strollers, dogs. <laughs> but we were too close. You see. So that's what I'm saying. We are actually protected. We're doing a First Amendment protected thing. We actually have more right to be here than anybody here. That's how the law sees it. I was going to say, that's you news know, to me. That's how the civil rights that's lawyers fighting me. some Bueller uh, case. Because we had more rights. I'm not going to treat you any different than I'm going to treat you. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Why were we no treated more different? But why were we treated but different? you get no more access than he did. Right? What do you mean access to the sidewalk? To, yeah, you were like, your right we to travel right to is also a constitutionally protected right. Your right of freedom of movement. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like I don't give the right. KV cameraman more access than I do. Right. Well, Mr. what I'm Joe saying Citizen is we were given less access than Joe Citizen just because we were holding a camera. Can you explain that one? <laughs> no, I, wouldn't I don't know what, what they did. So, yeah, but what like would you have done if there was a bunch of people in your scene and you were? would you just go after the camera people? I would conduct my scene the way I was going to do my scene. If I felt like the people were getting too close, then I would either call for additional, if 
call for another officer to come over to where I didn't have to worry about he did whoever that. was getting and close. He called cover and officer, just, so he could just yeah, I could just focus on that. And if I, that wasn't wasn't good enough, then I would tell that officer, you know what, go get a roll of crime scene tape. Put up the crime scene tape <laughs> on whatever perimeter yeah. you feel is comfortable for us. Yeah. And then I would tell people stay behind that crime scene tape. Right. Yeah. And then that way there's a clear, you know, but it's like, okay, am I going to worry about that or am I going to worry about taking care of my business with the citizen? Because the citizen that I've got to stop is going to hey, either do what you got to do and set me free or do what you got to do and take me to jail. But either way, make a decision and get to it. Yeah. Know, so. What about you, uh, Sergeant Sanders? What do you, how do you feel about the filmers being given a, a, a directive to leave the scene yet a bunch of people can go through? No, I mean, I think everybody has a, the right to be as close as that officer um, as that scene dictates. It's like you said. Yeah. But you, but you don't have more access than, than people walking down, down there. But are we protected uh, by the law because we're doing a First course, Amendment? Everybody's protected by the law. That's kind of what I meant. We have, we have a protection since we're doing a First Amendment act. Uh -huh. We have a certain protection that's beyond what your average well, drunk party goes. Just hit it on the head. They have, they have a protected by. They have a right. They have a right of movement. They have, yeah. People have the right of privacy. People have the right. All kinds of rights. Yeah. Okay. And and you guys can't infringe upon their rights, and they can't infringe upon yours. And you can't infringe upon mine, and I can't infringe upon yours. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's, that's how it works. That's be mutual. I wish yeah. it always was like that. That would be perfect. I'm used to the Oregon Revised Statutes, and it states that it's, it's a boundary that makes a, uh, that the officer feels comfortable. You know, that's what it says. It's very broad. Yeah. You know, um, and then if they arrest you for interfering later, if you refuse and stay too close, then they go into the court system. What does the Texas Penal Code say about what is interfering? Like they just passed it. Uh, that's the new law. They just went into effect. Yeah, I, I know. September first. Oh, really? They got a new law. They just changed it. I don't know if they made it. They just amended it. For some reason, 20 feet. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I guess we should look into that. That's right. Yeah, it's probably it's it's four but, days but, old. But yeah. Do tell that officer that I wasn't intended on upsetting him or pissing him off. You know. And, oh, I will. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, tell him not to shoot me. Yeah. 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 And I have a lot of internal affairs investigations, but I'm going to be filming all over Austin, mostly in South and East Austin. And I just, um, you know, I've told the officers after they shot my dog, they need to be handling me with grace anytime they deal with me because I have trauma and I'm not going to um, always comply with random arbitrary threats. I mean, well, I hope there's not any threats going on. <laughs> there's always a, a veiled threat. Move over here or you fail to obey law for order. How long have I been? 19. Wow. 13. Oh, wow. You look younger than you actually are there. If you're going to start That's because he takes care of himself. Vegetarian? How old do I look? Absolutely. Can you guess I am? Yes, sir. I'm going to look at my age. 34? 38? Yeah, close. 32? No, 42. 42. I was like, geez, I offended you. I get the same stuff you get, man. I got taught to get into a movie. Like, I'm like, really? Like, okay, you know, because I, I keep my head shaved, so the brain's on and my hair's blue. Yeah, hair's blue. Hair's blue. You just shave my head. <laughs> then nobody well, knows. I understand why a lot of you guys want a skinhead look, because nobody wants, I mean, if you're dealing with people, like, you don't want somebody grabbing your hair. If, if, you, if you're ever having to deal with, you know, some doing a suspect, you don't want that. So, I mean, I understand why a lot of you I guys do. have your head shaved, you know. I do. Like, you want somebody to grab your hair? It gives you an opportunity to grab a wrist. Perfect. Someone's like, here's my wrist. Do whatever. <laughs> well, well, guys, All right, guys, be well, careful. It's, it's oh, yeah, good we're speaking with you. Yeah, and, and please, cool. like, like, I don't want you to admonish him at all. Just, oh, just, just, just tell him that it's not my intention to interfere. And, you know, like, I want to build a positive kind of interaction, you know, because there, there doesn't need to be conflict. But thank you for the conversation you know, oh, and having the integrity to come out and speak to me. Sure, of course. Well, Thanks for coming out. If you guys need anything, let us know. Okay, I will, man. You want to go eat? Yeah, man. All right. So is it true that a lot of you guys go, eat it? Go anywhere other than McDonald's. That's where I work. Oh, is that where you're going to eat? No. They don't charge me. We were watching the long get their They play Baylor? No. They play Notre Dame. Oh, they yeah. Put it on them. Oh, yeah. Well, they had it coming. It's Notre Dame. <laughs>
got a good program back going your way. Oh yeah, they got good stuff.